WestJet has proactively canceled flights in British Columbia, Ontario, and Quebec today due to the incoming storm, sending some travelers scrambling to make other arrangements. WestJet released a statement saying the prolonged and extreme weather events across Canada are unlike anything they've experienced, and the decision to cancel flights was difficult but necessary. The airline says that flights could resume Saturday depending on the conditions. Let's go to Pearson now. Tori Gass joins me now. She's the Senior Communications Advisor for the Greater Toronto Airports Authority. Good morning. Good to see you today. So let's begin with those WestJet cancellations. What impact is that going to have on things at Pearson this morning? Well, we definitely know that it will impact passengers who are looking to travel today. I, you, WestJet would have a better idea on how many passengers will actually be affected, but we do know that Pearson is uh, very busy this week. It was going to be busy with a lot of flights with holiday travelers, so it's definitely going to have that impact, and we know that people have already been feeling um, the changes in flights and delays due to that weather that happened out west earlier this week. So we're watching it, but we are doing everything we can to support the airlines to make sure that our operations are running as best as they can and running safely. But it is definitely going to have a big impact. Yeah, and we'll get to those uh, Pearson preps in just a moment. I am curious, though, who makes the decision to cancel flights? Is it the airline or is it the airport? Well, the airlines actually have control over their schedule. In situations where there's weather, like the weather that's coming into Pearson here, uh, we do planning sessions, and that includes us at the table, Nav Canada, and then the airlines. And we look at a lot of different factors. Uh, how many planes will need de-icing? How long will that take? How much uh, time do we think we'll need on the runways for plowing because we can't have planes landing or taking off when that's taking place? Um, so we take a look at all of these factors that go into that, and then the airlines are able to proactively look at their schedules then they need to make changes as the weather hits obviously if the situation changes they make those decisions so uh, it's a kind of a combination we have the ability to come to agreement on how many flights can leave an hour so that means a reduced schedule that way and then the airlines are the ones that make the decisions on the flights we are expecting temperatures to plummet in the next few hours so what have crews at pearson been doing to prepare can planes land in ice well, ice is obviously not bad, and it is bad, sorry. What we're seeing is this combination of what we're going to get. So it's going to be ice, potentially snow, and high winds. So these create very difficult conditions, obviously, for flights. What we're doing is that we've been prepping. We have all hands on deck. We're ready. But we do want everyone to know that this can lead to delays. So not only is it on the runways, icy conditions are obviously not safe for a plane, but also for our workers. If, you're, if they're out there on the apron and on the runways, we need to make sure the conditions are safe for them so that may lead to some delays uh they may need to take some breaks to warm up as we know there's going to be a big chill coming here so that's a lot of what's going on but we're making sure that we're prepped with all of the appropriate equipment and all the appropriate people so that we can make sure we're as prepared as possible and that we can keep as many planes moving as possible but making sure we're doing it safely and i have to ask you lastly because someone asked me this uh today does the airport stay open no matter what tori the airport doesn't close. So there are situations where maybe we temporarily are not accepting flights or maybe flights are not able to take off, but the airport is always open. So that is a misconception that, that we do hear when there's a ground stop or ground delay. People assume that the airport is closed and that's not really the, the case. So there could be delays. Uh, we may not be able to accept arrivals if the conditions really deteriorate. We're hoping to really avoid that, but it's going to come down to safety. And if it isn't safe to land a plane or to take off, that decision will be made. But it will be temporary. Uh, we know the situation is not going to stay the same. It's going to be very dynamic. So the weather will be changing throughout the day, and we'll be watching that and making sure that we're, we're keeping an eye on the runways. Tori Gass, thanks for all that. Tori is the Senior Communications Advisor for the Greater Toronto Airports Authority.